Hi guys, this is Lagos International Airport. In my last video, I promised to talk about the PCR online payment. There is no way you can get away without paying that payment. They will make you to fill forms online and they will give you an account number to pay the money within 48 hours. And they will also give you a health care center address where you will go for another test after seven days of arriving. And if you are lucky, it will work. But there is no guarantee that you will be able to do that test in that health center. This is travel restriction list with 100 passengers passport number. I am not going to be showing the passenger's passport number here. You can go online to find out for yourself. If you have a family member, friend that is currently in Nigeria for a visit, ask them to go and find out if their passport number is here. We'll be talking detail about this list in a minute. Don't fail to share this video, please. You no, know, sharing is caring. I care about you, that is why I'm sharing this video. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do that to see my upcoming video where I will be talking about the national ID card in Nigeria. Guys, there are a lot going on in that country. Please do support me by sharing, liking, and subscribing to enable me to bring more video to you. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the PSCRU online payment, which is the payment that is supposed to be made online before traveling to Nigeria. If you are planning to go to Nigeria or you have a family member, friend who is planning to go to Nigeria or they are currently living in Nigeria or visiting Nigeria, share this video, let them know about this because the Federal Republic Government of, of Nigeria, Nigeria is placing restriction on 100 passengers passports, which means these passengers cannot leave Nigeria. They cannot travel out of Nigeria. These people traveled to Nigeria. And when they got to Nigeria, they didn't go for the COVID test after seven days. So for this reason, they cannot travel out of Nigeria till after six months. So you know what that means? Somebody is visiting Nigeria, maybe for business or for visitation, and cannot come back to the country where he or she is living, till after six months. They have family over there, they have job, and they have bills to pay, they have responsibilities. Hmm? So for this reason, I decided to come out here today to let you know about this. Please, before you leave the country where you are living, if it is very important for you to visit Nigeria, make sure you pay all this money. Or you can swell pay the money in, in the Nigeria. Airport. If you have like extra two hours to spend in the airport, don't bother paying the money before leaving. Because they will make you to fill forms online when you get to Nigeria airport. And after filling the forms, they will give you an account number where you will pay all this money. An account number where you can pay the money to, pending where you are living. And they will also give you an address of a healthcare center where you will go for the test after seven days. And I want to I want to let you know this. Paying the money before going to Nigeria or paying the money in Nigeria does not guarantee you 
that you will be able to come back to your loved ones after you're done with Nigeria. So what do you do? When you are true with them in the airport, immediately you leave the airport. Start making an arrangement of where to go for the COVID test after seven days of arriving. Be smart. And this number they gave to you in the airport and the address, just give it a try. And when you are trying, you have to start earlier and be making plan B because it's not going to be easy. Because these people are something else. You know, I actually didn't pay all this money before traveling to Nigeria. I didn't want to pay because I wanted to know what I'm telling you today. I wanted to go through this procedure. I wanted to get some information. That is why I didn't pay all the money before traveling. When I got to the airport in Nigeria, they gave me forms to fill, as I said before, and they gave me an account number and the healthcare center and all of those stuffs. The next day, I called the number they gave to me, and these people were like, I was trying to like get an appointment for the test. They were like, they have a lot of patients. So I was still like insisting and the price they gave me in the airport was different from the price these people were giving me. So what I did was I went online and I started searching for another health care center. There are actually health center where you can do these tests that are free. So I got some of them and I took the one that is in my stout because I was traveling the next day and when I called this health center in my stout they were giving me another price the all the uh, teaching hospitals in Nigeria are supposed to be free so I went to this teaching hospital hoping that is going to be free and when I got there they asked me to pay 20,000 naira and I told them that this test is supposed to be free I saw online that it's free and what the explanation they gave to me was if you are coming for like trying to know if you are uh, COVID positive or negative without we giving you any results. That is, they mean now the paper they are going to give to you, the shirt, it will be free. So we are going to give you this shirt. That is the information they are going to give to you, the document, for them to document the results. That is what they are charging 20000 for, which makes sense to me. And that wasn't even the problem. You know, I was asked to come for the result the next day. They were like, they are going to send the result to me through SMS. But I, I insisted in coming for the result because I wanted to collect the results. I don't want it through SMS or WhatsApp or something or email. So the next day, I didn't go. I wanted to like give them more time because I didn't want to go there. It was like a little bit far away from me. I didn't want to go there to waste my time because I know how things work in that country. So after two days, I went there and I needed the test for the next day. This test was not ready. And they were like, 
they have a lot of patients to attend to before they can attend to me. They have over 100 patients. I was like, what are you talking about? Are you aware that this resource is supposed to be for like 72 hours before it expired? And they were like, man down, there is nothing we can do. We are sorry. And that was it. So these people, they are something else. So don't let anybody disorganize you. Just plan your things the way they're supposed to be. Just try to like fight to get what you want. You can imagine hundred people, people visiting Nigeria this period, this tough period, and they cannot come back to their country to meet their family. They cannot come back to go back to their work to make their living. So, share this video, let people know about this. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing that. To support this channel, to make this channel grow. And God will bless you for doing that. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.